normally expect this to be another sort of gadget that is aimed at geeks, and I guess this is to a certain extent, but I mean, I could see even my dad, who's 70 odd, really enjoying this product. What with this gadget being the turntable sitting in front of you? That's correct. Oh, I thought you were going to start a DJ career there, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's kind of a real professional looking turntable, isn't it? it? It is very nice looking. It's actually, what's it made of? The bottom half is quite heavy. Actually, yeah, the bottom is, half is, is it's some plastic. sort of plastic, but yeah. the turntable section itself is. Yeah. Solid I've actually attached a belt, so you can't. Oh, I can't. Belt. I can't. So it's a okay. belt-driven USB turntable. It supports all three different of uh, all three different LP speeds, so 33, 45, and 78 speeds for the really, really old stuff. Yeah, I mean, so you can actually just use it as a um, a, a record player, yes. but it is. As you can see, I've got speakers plugged into it, so you can yeah. actually play directly from from the turntable. But itself. obviously, what it what it's really aimed at is transferring or converting. Your LPs into MP3. Well, not only that, mixing as well. If you're a your DJ or whatever else, you want to mix your own stuff, do your own scratching stuff, and whatever else, you can record who, it live. Who does that anymore? I think a lot of people still do. Actually, do they? yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. A lot of DJs it's definitely. This is, yeah, this is um, the type of product that could be used by or, or given to somebody who's 70 years old and has all the old records. I personally have had a blast over last week with this yeah, thing. Been a bit tortured, <laughs> actually, in the with all my old it's 80s. Like, oh, listen to this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the base unit. It's fairly light. Um, it's plastic. It's um, you know you, you got all your standard features. It's a nice. It feels metal. The head. It's not a cheap quality head. It's very well constructed. Plugs in there. Screws back on. This is definitely not a cheap turntable. Um, the you got your, your weight adjustment here. I actually spent quite a bit of time getting it perfect for all my LPs. Um, just like that down there. The aluminium turntable just sits on top like so and it's got, if you're getting close and have a look here what we've got is an actual a rubber belt which goes around around the motor just like that so as you can see the rubber belt there so then we just get our material cover for our turntable pop it on plug in the power at the back and we're ready to go now I've actually plugged in this unit to a set of speakers so we can externally play music through this it's also plugged in via USB into my laptop computer. The other little gadget gets provided with is a little light for your turntable. So if you're a DJ and you're still using LPs on your setup and do a bit of record scratching and all that, you've got your little light there as well. As far as features is concerned, I'll just lift up the, the arm and put it in the center like so. But what we've got here, we've got three different speeds. We've got 33, 45, to hit both of them together we get 78. You've also got a reverse button and also a manual slide for speed as well. So you can speed it up or slow it down a fraction. And center is a charm with the light on. And you've also got a uh, anti-shake uh, control there. So it just gives you a little bit more stability when playing your record. But we so we put a full size LP on there. So there's what, um, one, two, three, four, about 12, 14 tracks on this record. Move your needle up, up and you lower it down slowly and you hit one of these buttons here and start your music. Before, I could slow it down a little bit or I can speed it up a little bit. So we'll put it back at our standard speed, light comes back on. We can turn off the, uh, the sound and do our scratching. We can start it from either one of those two buttons. We could uh, hit reverse and listen for submissional messages. So that's the basic functions of the turntable. I'm actually gonna rip a LP into an MP3. I found something very tragic. It's star tracking by the firm. Some of you may know it, some may not. Move our needle across. Now this is actually a 45 speed record, so we'll hit our 45 button. We'll start our turntable and we'll get ready to lower it, but we'll leave it there for a second. Now what we'll do is come over to the laptop. Sky USB turntable comes with a free audio program called Audacity. This program allows you to interface with the USB connection and directly record your MP3 files or your audio files. Lower our needle. Once you hear the music start, we hit our record button. So we've now got our recorded data here. I'm gonna hit play, a little bit of static. Then the song starts. Select a section of that static like we have there. Then we're gonna go into our settings and we go to noise removal. And I'm gonna get the noise profile. So that's retrie retrieved 
a noise profile. It's used the start of the song before the song actually started, the, the, just the static in the background, and I'm gonna go noise removal, I'm gonna go remove noise. And as you can see, what it's done there is taken away all the noise for that section. You can see in the timeline, that's got squiggly little bits, and that part hasn't. Okay, so that gives you an idea, it removes all the extra noise. Now I'm just gonna get a noise profile using part of the song as well and see what happens there. Noise removal, get noise profile, select that again, effect, noise removal, and just listen to the start. All right, so what it's done, it's removed part of the song. We don't want that to happen. That's why we get a noise profile from the start of the, uh, the song before the actual music starts. So we're gonna go to edit and undo, undo noise removal. We'll select, um, we'll go, we'll do it undo again. So we've got our, back to our original setting there. We go effect, noise removal, get noise profile first. Then we are going to get the whole song in here. So we can now see the whole song. I've just, um, just minimized it so you can actually see the whole song. We're going to select the whole song. Effect back down to noise removal. Remove noise. Takes a couple of seconds for it to do that. Now you just you probably noticed that it's changed the the way the waves put out just slightly, but it gets rid. Most importantly, it gets rid of all the noise at the start and all the little crackling and all that, which is what we want to remove. There's just a slight crack at the start. So what we've what we've ended up with there, we're using this software. is a very clean audio track taken from an LP. It's it might not be as good as a CD recording, but it's definitely a lot better than the original LP, and it's more than acceptable to play in your car stereo or even in, on your home stereo. So what we do now is we need to convert this. We go to file. We to export as MP3. Now the first time you do this it will ask you to point to your lame mp3 encoder which is another free software download it by default this program allows you to export to WAV files but if you wanted to export to mp3 you need to find the lame codec create name for it and we call it clean so star trek clean save mp3 save as now it's going to come up with our tags we call it Star Trek, and the artist is the firm, and it could put a, it let us put a year in there and all that type of stuff, a gender, I'm just gonna put down as pop, and we'll click OK. And there we have a converted MP3. Now we can go into our My Documents folder. So from LP to MP3 in basically a little bit longer than it takes to play the song. So basically to recap, it comes with a free software called Audacity. You can download that from the web as well and to output into mp3 format you need to also download lame and install that that's right so if you've done any type of mp3 encoding before you may already Probably have, already lame, have uh, yeah. lame on your computer that's right so again it's free that's true my only beef with it is that it doesn't have a cover mm -hmm. if you're going and to no, cover. Right. no i mean well you're going to sort of set it up on your shelf with your other hi-fi equipment when you're not using it plugged into your pc djs do still use it and if you are a dj i mean it fits the feet are really solid and they've got mm -hmm. grips on them, it's heavy, the buttons are big, there's a light on it, it's really well yeah, set out for a, that. It was a pleasure to use. I've, I recently purchased an old uh, LP player for our, our bedroom and it really doesn't have a clue how to play LPs. It's, it's shocking, everything skips and jumps and yeah. you know, with this all the LPs work perfectly. So right. I, I guess the point I'm trying to make is that um, it can be as simple as you want it to be, which is just plug it into your PC, mm -hmm. play it save it as an mp3 that's right done so the price range for this it's about 200 in the us and 300 in australia so um i don't think that's extremely expensive for what you get no at all. i mean yeah it's not a it's not a cheap nasty lp player by any means it's it's fully professional belt driven um you can turn the motor on or off if you want to mix music um it, it is really a brilliant product so even if you just want to play around and make, do some old school record mixing. Uh, you can still buy LPs, I'm not too sure if you realise that. A lot of the new stuff is still released really? on LPs. Yes. You have to go into I didn't realise that. Yeah. You have to go into specialty music stores, but there is a lot of stuff Why would they bother? Because of DJs who want to mix old school ah, stuff. Ah, okay. So, Where the waters flow.